This tutorial is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your website on demand. And don't forget, subscribe for more tutorials. Hi everyone, so the question is, how do you make the logo on your Shopify site bigger? So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, I'm using the Brooklyn theme here, just kind of the default theme. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Customize. And we're going to go to our header section right here. All right, so we have our homepage logo right here. I'm going to remove that. And from this homepage logo, you can add your custom size to whatever you want it to be. So say I wanted to make it 150 pixels. So that's that size. Or say I want to make it 250 pixels. That's that size. So that's going to change the width in pixels. Now sometimes, um, and I know in some themes, after doing it, this might not work exactly how you need it to work. So what you can do, if you go to uh, your site, and I'm going to refresh this. So I can show you what's going on here. All right. So if we go to our site, and if we... Right click here and we go to inspect or you go to inspect tools, whatever you're using, Chrome or Firefox. We're going to hover over our logo image here, which is this. And we're going to see this code right here. So it says max 250. So that's what we left it as. So what you can do, you can actually change this. So I can do a max width of 500 pixels. But you see that the, the image didn't change in the side. So pretty much what this is saying is that this logo can only go as big as 500 pixels no matter what screen size. So what you could do for it to be changed is add just width and then 400 pixels. So that's what it's going to look like. So as you can see from here, it got a little blurry, so you need to be careful with this. you got to make sure that your image is big enough in order to be scaled in that way to make it look good. So if we wanted to add this to the site, if I go back to maybe 260 pixels. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this code right here. And we're going to go back to our site. And from here, we are going to go to, uh, let's go back out here. And instead of going to customize, we're going to go to our actions and go to edit code. And from edit code, we're going to go and scroll down and we're going to find Believe it is. It's fine. I'm just going to type this in here. Theme. Awesome. So theme. Scss. Liquid. This is the uh, asset that you need to add your code to. So if I scroll all the way down to the bottom, this is where all your uh, CSS is stored. All your styling options for your theme. So if we add here a custom code, site header, logo, image, put in a bracket, that I add max width 500 pixels and width of 260 pixels. And you can adjust this to size, whatever you need. I'm making 160 pixels. And then close your bracket and click save. You can also add a comment here if you want to kind of remember where you added this stuff um, if you want. So that's been saved. So I'm now going to refresh this page. Awesome. So I refresh this page. You can already see that the changes are there. If I hover over this and click into it, you can see. that the width of 160 has changed right here. And again, this kind of depends on the theme that you're using. 
more often than not, what's going to be used is what I showed you originally, whereas if you go back to your themes, go to customize again, and if you go into the header section, you can customize in pixels what size you want your logo to be. And Shopify is pretty good at, at you know, adjusting kind of the position and what it looks like um, in this place. So that's what, if you can use that and it works for you, that's definitely what you're going to want to use um, instead of just adding the code. Uh, again, some uh, themes don't allow you to do that. So you're definitely going to want to have to adjust that uh, as per spec. Hope this helps and have a great day. Thanks for watching. If this was helpful, please subscribe. And if you need extra help, visit askquesty.com and send us your questions.